guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 of Carol and Tuesday, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> I wonder what's going to happen in their episode. I mean, they've done Coachella. It wasn't the best experience for them as a group, but, like, they got to see their favorite artists perform. That's, like, the best thing in the world. <laughs> So apparently this album's coming out at the end of the month. From what from what companies and people on Twitter have said this album's gonna be out at the end of the month and I'm just like Yes <laughs> Cause I get paid the first week in June and I can buy it. <laughs> that damn music video. <laughs> Show me the line. Uh. So basically, American Idol or The Voice. That's exactly what it is. Or, oh my god, what's that other show? America's Got Talent, I believe? Yeah, for like a whole year, unless you were like Kelly Clarkson or uh, Carrie Underwood or what's the successful guy on American Idol? Not Adam Lambert, because like, I, who the, where the fuck is he? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, American Idol in a nutshell. Only eight? But you want this, don't you? You can't really worry about work right now, damn. Uh. Mm. Oh. Why don't you just get him a bank account? 
Ah, Angela! But who knows if she's going to actually win. I mean, yeah, she got a good-ass voice, let's say that. True. Well, that's her problem, then. God damn, look at that long shit. <laughs> just remember, some of them are being fools and they're just pretending that they know how to sing. Come on. And they're not going to make it. They're just here for the last, especially that dude in the Sailor Moon costume. Oh, you're the guy that I saw on Instagram. I mean, the big buff guy should be on American Ninja Warrior. Uh, oh god, she's getting nervous. Yeah, she ran away from home. <laughs> well, yeah. Got right in the face. Damn. <laughs> this fucker.
god. Forgive me. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Mm. Yeah, so in a way, she really needs this. But for Carol, not really. Aren't she like, how old is her? How old is she? I mean, damn, if she want to live on her own, let her live on her own. Mm -hmm. Love you. Mm hmm. Figured that was his dad, no matter what. So basically, your mama used to abuse you, and that's why you can't go home, or why you don't, you feel like you don't belong there. I get that. So then, what the hell happened to a real mom then? Maybe her parents got divorced at a young age and it's always just been her and her dad until her dad transitioned from a man to a woman, possibly. <laughs> so, yeah, how did it go, you guys? <laughs> it waits a long time.
That's fine. Mom, this is your chance to get to know her, babe. No. <laughs> I don't know how it actually exists. Mm -mm, don't say that, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Bad news first. <laughs> yeah, but I want to know bad news. Get the bad news over. Yes. Uh, that's because you used it. See, why didn't you just make a fucking bank account? Uh, hmm. He made the show. <laughs>
end right there. That's so mean. But I'm glad that they won. You know what? And I've been thinking about this because, in a way, I've sat and rewatched the first six episodes over again. Every single time when we get to the beginning and we see the confetti and stuff, that could be the point where they win this competition. It, like, that's what I think. Because we keep seeing it every single freaking week. And I'm like, where is this leading up to? So it has to be the contest or, like, you know, American Idol in a way, basically. But, like, out of 2,000 people, only eight get chosen. So now we're not going to know if Angela got chosen until what? Next one, not one next Wednesday, next Thursday. But I'm happy for him. And I mean, you know, I love the fact that they finally got to know each other a little bit more. Getting to know Tuesday's backstory, Carol's backstory. I mean, when Tuesday finally told her about her backstory and everything, it just felt like she let her walls down. She's letting someone who she really cares about in. She doesn't give a crap if her mom finds out about this. I mean, we all know, but she doesn't know that her brother came literally two weeks ago, found her, and then went back home, probably telling his mom, like, oh, yeah, went, didn't find her at all. But because of the fact is that, you know, this competition is going to be on TV and it will be live, there's going to be a point in time where her mom is probably going to be watching television. Maybe, like, doing a normal thing instead of being a politician um, during the day and just being a regular normal parent by night. But there are some politicians who are nothing but a politician 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, until they get elected. She might watch TV one day, maybe just looking at polls and stuff to see how she is in the election against someone else. And then they show... Carol and Tuesday on television and then, you know, she'll go to her son and be like, I thought you went to Mars to go find her. But like, where? <laughs> She's clearly there. You didn't look. Where did you look? And he's just gonna make something up. But, like, I think the biggest thing is I'm hoping that her brother finds out first before the mom does and so that he can, like, Make sure all the TVs are off so that she doesn't look at anything. Don't look at your phone for social media. Nah, none of that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Just <laughs> stay off the internet for, I wonder how long this competition could be. Like, I feel like episode-wise, it could be two, maybe three episodes. It could be, it could go all the way to episode 10. But I feel like I, I don't want them to drag it on too much. Because if they do, we're going to um, eventually, like, cut away from what was really important. But, like, we all know that this is Carolyn Tuesday's story from um, rags to riches, in a way. So we need to know literally everything. So, I mean, there's going to be points where it's going to look like, oh, hey, you got to vote for him. Typically, just like any other singing competition show. Like, I think American Idol still does it. I'm not 100% sure because I have not watched American Idol in years. Um, same thing with The Voice, or I've never truly sat and watched America's Got Talent. But with, um, The Voice, I know you immediately have to, like, go online or whatever just to vote for that person who you want to win, because I did it for, like, one season when one of my really, um, favorite, uh, no, I'm about to say voice actors, singers who was in a band who was really famous until they broke up. And she drifted off on her own and she got to be on the show and actually she won and stuff. So, I mean, that's what it's going to be like for them. And they're going to get fans even more. And, you know, never know. You never know. Crystal might perform again, hopefully, because I still want to know the, street, the crap between her and Skip. And we're possibly not really going to get to that until, like, the second half of this show or hell. They may never even do it because, I mean, this is a, is, it's an original anime. But at the same time, I'm like, are you going to do it? Because right now, yes, we are focusing on Carol on Tuesday and a little bit of Angela. Thank God she came back in this week's episode. And I hate the fact now learning about her past that her dad, who was her mom, is her manager and used to possibly abuse her because he, she said, um, mama's voice, mama's hands and something. And just, you could just feel that tension Especially looking back and, you know, how Mama was always like, oh, well, you can always come home. 
well, does it look like she really wants to come home because she really just wants to distance herself away from you? Because I'm guessing if she did something wrong as a child actress and you are her manager, technically monitor, even though she just said that she's getting a new manager soon, you possibly hurt and abused this girl. So eventually when she got older and enough money to move out of the house, she's just like, you know, deuces, like not saying, hey, hey, I hate your ass and stuff, but she's just like, you know, deuces, I'm done and I'm getting out of here and I want to like live my life my way and let me stay here. Let me do my own thing. So I, I still feel bad for her and I, I highly, really hope that the show kind of goes a little more in detail about her past. Like if we ever, if they ever decide to do a flashback episode when Carol, Tuesday, and Angela were kids before anything. Because, like, I mean, we've seen a little bit of Carol when she's a kid. We haven't really seen Tuesday yet as a kid. And we've now kind of seen a little bit of Angela. But I'm just, here's hoping. That's all. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Carol and Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matching Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Thursday for episode 8. Bye, guys!